Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Sunil Kumar Sahu from Informatica Active Watch team. In this presentation, we will see how to configure Active Watch JMS messaging service with Active MQ JMS client. In the agenda of this session, we will have a quick introduction of what is Active Watch messaging services, and second, we will have a live demo on configuring messaging service with Apache Active MQ through Active Watch console. Messaging service in Active Watch is a feature available for configuring one or more JMS messaging services. Through console, we can specify connection settings that will allow Active Watch server to further establish a connection with a JMS server. Now we will have a live demo to see how to configure a message manager in ActiveWatch console to work with a Apache Active MQ JMS client. So to start with, we need to first download a Apache MQ JMS client in your local machine. So this is the URL wherein we can download the Apache MQ JMS client. I am going to download the latest version that is 5.9.1. If I click on this and from here I can download the Apache Active MQ. Once you download the Apache Active MQ zip, you need to extract that zip to a location. Let me extract it out. Once you have extracted the Act Apache Active MQ zip, you need to go to this bin location and start the Apache Active MQ. So once you see this message, it means that the Apache Active MQ is started. So we will access this URL now. The password is admin admin. So this will launch the Ap Apache Active MQ console. That means the active, uh, active Apache MQ is up and running successfully. Now we need to do the configurations at Active Watch side. So once this Active MQ is up and running, let's try to configure a JMS message manager in Active Watch console. And we will witness an issue there. Let me try to create a message manager here. I'll add this manager. I'll go to this manager and select a other JMS. Okay. As a provider type, here it will be connection factory. We are sending the empty credentials and let the values be default. Here we need to provide this Apache MQ initial context factory class to connect to the active MQ connection factory. Then we will provide this URL and rest all properties will be as it is and now try to validate the JMS manager we can find the JBoss EAP server is failed to initialize the connection factory class it's saying the deployment doesn't able to you know load the module class loaders so in order to resolve this issue we need to place this particular active MQ all 5.9.1.jar inside our AVE jbox.ar for this we will copy this jar and go to your active server active boss server installation directory here go to server enterprise jboss config deploy go to this AVE jboss 7 inside this lib paste this jar 
okay so once this jar is copied inside this AVE JBoss 7 lib directory go back to your server enterprise go to the JBoss config go to the bin and we need to run this config underscore deploy dot bat utility what it will do is it will repackage the AVE JBoss EAR with that particular active MQ jar so let me run this utility so we only need to configure the active watch server we will select the active watch server and go to the next let all the selection be by default next we don't need to deploy the active or central go to the next click on next show details and install let this utility install the new avejboss.ear inside the jboss standalone deployments directory now we can see the jboss underscore av er has been deployed to jboss eap standalone deployment directory so now we will restart the server i am now restarting the app server it will take few minutes so we can see the active was server has been started now let's launch the active was console let me go to the messaging services I will add a new manager I will select other GMS as a type connection factory here send empty credentials and rest all detail will be same will provide the initial context factory class and the factory initial connection parameter please note that the connection factory class should be under java.naming.factory.initial attribute only so this is how the connection parameters we have provided to the JMS message manager the provider type is other the connection factory name is connection factory the java.naming.provider URL will be this one and the factory initial class will be this one org.apache.activemq.gndi.activemq initial context factory so now I will validate the message manager now you can see you are able to successfully connect to activemq through activos console these are the steps that we can follow and connect to active apache active mq from active was console for exploring more on jms messaging service in active was please refer messaging service under info center url we would love to hear from you you can write us at support videos at the rate informatica.com or you can reach us at twitter.com at infasupport Thanks for watching this Informatica support video.